Hi everyone, how are you? Today we are going to start another new question for MRCS exam and it will be very helpful for you to uh, solve the question and pass the MRCS exam. Uh, the question uh, which of the following uh, represent the root value of sciatic nerve so it is a direct question there is uh, no scenario the we have to find out root value of the sciatic nerve uh, we know that the sciatic nerve is all the largest nerve of the body and it arises from the lumbar region and it passes uh, in the gluteal region uh, through the back of the back of the thigh and the supplying the back of the thigh muscles and finally goes in the lower foot and in the lower foot the whole leg and foot is supplied by the sciatic nerve so it uh, is a long course and we have to find out the root value here are the options the options are uh, lumbar foot to sacral three lumbar one to lumbar four lumbar three to sacral one sacral one to sacral four lumbar five to sacral one so we have to find out uh, the root values of the sciatic nerve so uh, let's uh, first of all let's see the sciatic nerve here uh, so we can see this is the sciatic nerve the uh, green one and we can see it arises from uh, these nerve roots here are the nerve root which lies in the uh, sacral region and some part of the lumbar region also in the past picture uh, this is uh, the sciatic nerve and the sciatic nerve arises from the lumbar and sacral area then it uh, passes uh, behind the uh, this bone this is the hip bone uh, through the greater sciatic nose and it descends down down in the posterior part of the uh, the joint the hip joint and then it goes posteriorly in the lower foot in this picture we also can see this is the sciatic nerve after arising it passes through the greater sciatic nose and posteriorly it goes down uh, and it uh, supplies uh, uh, the posterior part of the thigh and all part of the leg and all part of the foot so here uh, we can see the nerve here in the second picture this is the important picture uh, this is the uh, sciatic nerve it passes below the piriformis and goes to the posterior part of the thigh then in the popliteal fossa uh, upper part of the popliteal fossa is divided into two branches uh, one is tibial and another is common peroneal the tibial nerve uh, it supplies the whole posterior part of the leg and part of the foot and common peroneal nerve common peroneal nerve after arising it uh, uh, carves the fibular neck and goes to the anterior part and it supplies the anterior and lateral um, and at the part of the leg and foot so the sciatic nerve it is the longest nerve of the body and we can see here the nerve root nerve root arising from it is from lumbar 2 and it ends sacral 3 so the sciatic nerve it arises from the lumbar 4 lumbar 5 sacral 1 sacral 2 and sacral 3 and this division is also important that the sciatic nerve sciatic nerve divides into tibial and common peroneal nerve at the upper part of the popliteal fossa this is the popliteal fossa here there the popliteal fossa and upper part of the popliteal fossa it divides into two part one is tibial branch and another is common peroneal nerve so these branches are very very important and which of the level at the upper part of the popliteal fossa it is mrcs exam question so we have to uh, memorize or we have to remember it carefully so here our final answer the sciatic nerve uh, its root value is lumbar 4 to sacral 3 that means lumbar 4 lumbar 5 sacral 1 sacral 2 and sacral 3 thank you all